Hello guys, welcome back to CG Record channel. Today we're going to see what is coming feature in next update of V-Ray Render. The video embedded at the top of the story shows experiments on integrating V-Ray scatter volume. V-Ray's brute force unbiased subsurface scattering system as the translucency component of V-Ray material. The rendered results, which show quite striking translucency effects, are compared to V-Ray AL surface material. V-Ray's representation of AL surface enters Langland's old Arnold Uber shader. And here are another test. The implementation should also simplify the control parameters for translucency. The second video showing better previews of V-Ray MTL in the 3DS Max viewport. V-Ray user can also expect a much more accurate representation of V-Ray MTL in the 3DS Max viewport. The video above compares the viewport preview to rendered output in the V-Ray frame buffer in 3DS Max 2021. The last video is showing some results from optimizing ray traced multiple scattering inside V ray volume grid. Render time is around 2 minutes 16 seconds on a Thread Ripper 3990X. The cloud is an open VDB file from the Disney Moana Island scene, which you can download free to test using the link in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.